Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I finally used my Peter Lawwell's golden ticket, as they say. Um, it's clean. I'll give it that. I did this. It's the new I did this stuff. It's coming out today. The lace things. It's a nice wee zipper coat with a hood, of course. Um, it's actually very comfortable. <laughs> Got to give it. I did this that. Uh, today's very well. I'm not describing I did this today, but um, could this possibly be the two? These two players we'll be talking about today, the first signings of this rebuild of under Ange Postacoglu, who has arrived um, in, in, in Lennox Town obviously yesterday. First interview is done today, his, his, po his press conference will be tomorrow. Um, with Ange Postacoglu now hard at work on the training ground, the rebuild, re the rebuild can begin in earnest now. So, with obviously Ange Postacoglu here, um, the Greek Australian boss will take charge of his first training session after completing his mandatory quarantine have, I have injected in from Japan. It's been more than 100 days since Lennon's departure but his replace, with his replacement getting down to business thoughts will turn to the transfer market. After the end of the season without a trophy and seeing the 10 year old dream turn to dust, still a, a need of a major rebuild this summer, aren't we though? You know, aren't we? Definitely are. The likes of Odson Edward, Chris Iyer and Ryan Christie looking to set, uh, look, uh, look to set the depart but always Fans will be uh, most interested in, in, in know and who will be coming in the park head door. Um, so it'll be interesting. Uh, two long term targets have been linked with reports that Celtic have renewed their attempts to sign Mario Vuskovic. Um, 19 year old centre back has been in the cr uh, crosshairs for some time, but the Croatian under 21 international looked set for uh, Torino. Uh, however, the Serie A side pulled out of nego nego negotiations at the end of May after being unable to agree a fee with, I am not even going to pronounce that bloody team, hashtag split, there you go. Reports from Italy at the time suggested Vus Vuskovic club were asking for 4 to 5 million and it's likely Celtic would have to shell out around that much to get their man. Um, that's going to be interesting, obviously a Croatian under 20 internationalists uh, supposed to be going to, go to Torino may broke down in terms of because they're looking for more the 4.5 million the 4 to the 5 million range I mean when you're speaking like that Celtic are going to have to build, build up the pockets and get the, get the money out it's going to be interesting I've not actually heard of this man before um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, we'll move on uh, another long term target with an Italian connection is obviously I discussed them yesterday and yesterday's video. I'm not going to go on them about too much because I discussed that in yesterday's video. So go and check that out yesterday's video, guys. It's Aaron Hickey who has once again been uh, for being um, in contact to uh, for a parkhead switch. The Bo Belonga, a left back, grew up a Celtic fan, had had a spell and a youth set up in between stints with Hearts, obviously. A 3 million bid is set to be in the offering, though Belonga will not want to lose a youngster who they signed only last. Only last summer. Well, wow, just didn't see that. Oh, no. And it appears that defence is a big priority for uh, this summer as sporting right back uh, Valetting Rossier Rossier is also linked. Uh, the 24 year old spent last season alone at Besiktas and can also play on the left hand side, but securing his signature won't be easy uh, as French giants Marseille are, uh, are said to be interested and are a hard pro pro proportion to turn down for any French player. And it's reported in Turkey that Lazio want the fullback as they look to rebuild for team uh, for Maurizio Sarri, the former Chelsea boss as well. Giro, yeah. Um, as it's in the thumbnail, guys, also like a big hand there. Uh, obviously, the two players on the right hand side of the thumbnail. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a very interesting few weeks, of course, not just for uh, Ange Postecoglou who's fitting in the first training session and um, getting used to obviously with the players and all that stuff. But we're going to look at the transfer market because. Ans Postacoglu is not the man where, for example, if you go Brendan Rodgers, you can look anywhere for players, but if you look at, for example, you know, Ans Postacoglu, you might have good links in Australia, your Japan League, you know what I mean? Next Nakamura, maybe, you never know. Uh, but that's two players I want to talk about today, guys, and they could potentially be the first signings of Postacoglu either. Um, and I'll remind the names, um, <laughs> just... Uh, Valentin Rossier, uh, Aaron Hickey of course as well, and also Mario Vyskovic. 
Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and like. Recent support on the channel has been great. Um, the recent uh, Anne Hickey video. Make sure to check that out. The Celtic Mind podcast. Absolutely excellent views so far, guys. So make sure to check it out. Share the video. Like. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Peace.